all suited up. Not sure what I look like, but <laughs> I just brought the eggs into the girls and I told them to bring me the camera. I'm gonna show y'all what's going on down here in South Mississippi today. It has been ever more flooding this morning. Y'all can see the wonderful ground down there full of water. And we had a break in the storm before some tornado weather comes in. So I come out here to help Aiden get him done with the chores this afternoon. I wanna show y'all some things that we've done differently on the farm while the rain has stopped. Here are the Freedom Rangers that y'all heard us talking a lot about. Now we keep losing them. We have so many roosters. We moved them into this little pen contraption here because they have killed three of my laying hens from that coop. They completely st stopped laying. I've only had these girls moved out. Uh-oh, there's the rain. Well, it downpoured and then it stopped. We moved them out because over where my my permanent my layers are in their permanent coop we lost several i think the roosters were jumping on my hens and they are meat birds so they are they they're so much heavier they weigh probably three times more than my laying hens so they were jumping on my birds and they were my laying hens and they were literally jumping on them so much a day that they were injuring their legs. Never will I ever put those Freedom Rangers in with my laying hens again. That was a very big mistake on our part. We've moved them out to their own place. My hens have started laying again. They had completely stopped laying, would not lay at all. My hens are laying, but they are picking back up. So that does give me some hope. They are cross out over there in a different pen to keep them out. I want them out of here. Um, they will be butchered on our next butchering. Have some beautiful lettuce coming up. Super excited about that. Those were also the very birds that were getting out of the fencing and eating all my lettuces. And now that we have contained them well enough to keep them from getting out, look at what I have over here. Absolutely beautiful. Over here, absolutely beautiful. So it was just an issue of keeping them contained. Even after we moved them into the fence that you guys just saw, they still were getting on the waters and jumping out. So then we had to clip their wings. They have just been a mess. We cannot wait to see them go off the farm. They're our least favorite thing on the farm. But for right now, because of the weather, we're gonna get a tarp over that to give them a little bit of shelter um, to go under as this other weather comes in. And uh, we gotta get it finished getting everything fed. One other thing I wanted to show you guys while we were out and about today was the pigs that we got and brought home. We've got them named. We can't wait to tell y'all more about them, but y'all see that they're still in the barn. They're still doing good. So they're getting fat and spoiled. The Y'all see these three right here. We're gonna mm. keep the two reddish color ones and the spotted one. These two right here will be our meat for um, next year, the end of next year. But they're doing good. They're staying out of the weather. This just goes to show you how much it has rained just this morning. And it'll be our duty to get the pigs moved tomorrow. We're gonna move them back a little bit more. Um, so they're now back in their pig forest. Uh, they have some shelter, of course, from the trees. We try to raise them as naturally as possible. Hogs that live out in the woods, of course, do not have buildings built for them that they can go in. They use the trees and logs and other natural things to help them stay sheltered. The mud pit is a problem. We don't want them to stay and just wallow in this nastiness. So it'll be our duty tomorrow. We're gonna get them, cause well, like I said, we're gonna be under a tornado warning this afternoon. They're gonna go back some more. And um, they'll of course be in cleaner fields over here. It's absolutely beautiful back here. So they'll go back here on this pretty section and we'll get them moved out of this mud. But that just goes to show you how much rain we have had just this morning. Look at this. 
this. Let me look at this. Lightning's been striking here, and I think it struck the ground right here beside them. And it killed 30 of our chickens. Well, we had a bad storm come through, and it pretty much, I mean, it was lightning bad. And it was really, just really bad weather. And we come out here to check on the chickens. The, the little coop was kind of blown over, which is no big deal. That, that, that's all the time. But when we actually walked out here, we realized something else happened. So what we're thinking is the the groundwater, which I mean, you know, it's just here. Uh, the kids said they heard a lot, of, a loud pop, misty it too. And I'm thinking that it literally struck the ground and it killed it killed the majority of our chickens. I'm guessing a lot of these were maybe, you know, in a drier area or on a different spot. But it did, it killed them. Killed 26 of our 60 birds left. Almost half. So it's definitely a little heartbreaking. Uh, Aiden's taking them now. And we're going to try to get them deep in the woods back here. But you know, there's no bite marks, no claw marks, no signs of animals, nothing like that. We've had damage from you know animals before. I mean, not a lot, but just a little bit. So we know what to look for. But uh, it's dealing with this storm now. And the only option is it it, it grounded out, and uh, and that, that light that hit when it hit it, it hit the ground. So I've got one more that's, that's about to die too. She's just. She's just there. She's not. I should just go ahead and try to put her out of her misery. But out of 60 birds, you know, 27 of them, 26 died, one's fist to die. And that's that's a tremendous loss. Uh, that's meat birds basically for the year. And uh, that's just a, that's a tremendous loss. Tremendous loss. So you see, this rain brought in a very bad cold front. As you know, in the last few videos, we've actually. Uh, some days in short sleeve, some and long sleeve. And today is back to insulated coveralls because it's going to get real cold, which is also another just kind of unhappy moment because our plum tree has got plum blooms all over and plums already. Our uh, potatoes are looking great. Um, so, you know, this weather has played, this weather has played a, a major detriment for the start of this year. Um, people talked about 2020 being bad, but 2021 for us has been has been horrible. I know it can always get worse. At least it wasn't a sheep, at least it wasn't a pig, at least it wasn't a cow. Uh, I hate to take loss, definitely, because that's probably, you know, 27 birds at four pounds, that's 100 pounds worth of food, um, at least, that we lost. Um, but now with this cold front coming in, we're worried now what are we, what's gonna happen with our fruit trees and with our, um, you know, with some of our produce has already started to grow. So, uh, here's to 2021. It's been a, a rough start so far. Uh, not the best way to end this vlog. So, sorry guys. Usually we try to end on a positive note, but to be honest with you, sometimes it just is like this. Um, I think back to Macy. Y'all were with us when, when we lost Macy. And, of course, we had to, to um, uh, you know, bury her. And then again with these chicks. And you know, they're four weeks from process, so we've got all this grain that we've put into them. So you say, on average, you know, two or three dollars per pound, uh, or a little bit less, maybe a dollar fifty two dollars a pound, say two dollars a pound, eight dollars to ten dollars a bird in loss. That's three hundred something dollars and a hundred pounds worth of meat. So that's a hard, hard pill to swallow there. So good luck. I hope these storms don't get you like it got us. And uh, we'll always bounce back. God bless. Happy homestead, y'all.